Now, MOVE people decided that we needed to make some things clear to this system. We're nobody's whipping post. And we made it clear to this system that we believe in peace. We are a peaceful people. We are uncompromisingly opposed to violence. But we are not stupid. We are John Africa taught. And we understand very clearly the difference between violence and self-defense. We do not believe in violence, but we do believe in self-defense. We made it clear that you are not violent when you defend yourself, but you are violent if you are attacked and refuse to defend yourself because then you are encouraging, perpetuating, and endorsing violence, the worst form of violence, because then you are masochistic, suicidal, and MOVE is neither masochistic or suicidal. You slap my cheek, I ain't turning the other cheek. I'm going to stop the slapping right there. <laughs> and there is nothing, there is nothing violent about that. It's stopping the violence, okay? There is not one species of life that mama have put on this earth that does not defend itself <clears throat> when attacked. Now, who do these people think they are to try to convince you that unlike any other species of life, you don't have the right to defend yourself. If there's a problem, you come to us and we'll take care of it. Well, excuse me, what happens when you are the problem? <laughs> You see, on August 8th of 1978, in a, a video, a very good video, that was done on that police attack on MOVE, there is a, uh, there's footage of this older black woman, and she's being interviewed. And she's saying how she was upstairs on the second floor of her house, and all of a sudden her front door bust open and all these people come running into her house because the cops were, was on horseback and they're just riding around with their nightsticks beating people, attacking people, and people were trying to get away from them and ran in her house. She said she was so upset, she was like, she saw people bruised and bloody and everything. She ran to her phone, picked up the phone and then stopped and like, well, damn, who do I call? You know, who do I call? 